Welcome to in NV online classroom. Today we will learn network plus basic chapter 7. Network basic fundamental. Basic network fundamental are covered in this chapter. Now learn the network plus basic network. First of all, we learn computer networks. Networking is the sharing of information and services. Computer network provide the communication tools to allow the computer to share the information and abilities. Networking is the sharing of the information and lot of services. And it said the lot of resources. And it also responsible to communicate two or more computers. It said the data, applications, message, emails, graphics, printer, modem and fax machine. On figure you can see two computers and which are communicate with each other and these computers are share lot of resources list of resources see on the screen data application message email graphics printer modem fax this type of resources are share next scope of the networks do you know why we need the networks? Okay, we understand. Network that means easy to share our data, easy to share our facilities. Basically, network has three types LAN, MAN, and WAN. LAN that means the local area network, MAN that means the metropolitan area networks and WAN that means the wide area networks. First of all we understand the LAN, local area network. LAN refer to relatively small group of connected computers. LAN is normally contained within the buildings or campus. It's limited. Suppose we configure the LAN network in our private office, in our build one single building, and this type of network is called the LAN networks. LAN transmission speed are often measured in the megabit per second Mbps. We use the switch hardware to configure the LAN networks, and its Ethernet and its speed is the Measuring Mbps, 10 Mbps, 100 Mbps. Basically, hub hardware are working with 10 Mbps and switch hardware are working with 100 Mbps. Next, MAN network. MAN that means the metropolitan area networks. It's communicate to or more campus and cities. If you want to communicate to buildings, this time we use MAN networks. Next, we understand the WAN network. WAN that means the wide area networks. WAN comprises the multiple LAN. L list of LAN network are communicate through WAN network. WAN is the interconnect LAN and that can be opposite side of the country or located around the world. It is measured in the kilobit per second kbps or mbps megabit per second. Using the WAN network, you can communicate to cities, to countries, and list of LAN networks.
Okay, basically WAN network has the two types. Just see on the screen. First is the enterprise network and second is the global network. Now understand the enterprise network. What is the enterprise network? It connects the all LAN of a single organization. And the term is normally used for the network connecting extremely large organization. Next, global. This is the second type of the van and a global network is the one that spans the earth. And the example is the internet. Here internet is the one example of global van network. Okay, next. Do you know how to compute models? Let's understand. It has three types of computing models. First is the centralized computing. Second is the distributed computing. And third is the collaborative computing. Three model names see on the screen. Centralized, distributed and collaborative. First of all, we learn the centralized computing. What is the centralized computing models? The centralized computing models is used to store and organize the data. Using this model, you can manage our data through one single organization. And people enter the data on mainframe using the local device called the terminal. Means you can enter the data anywhere in world and it's stored in one single server. So with terminal, you can manage centralized computing model. Terminal is the one type of programs. Using this program, you can manage and enter the data through one single site. Next is the distributed computing models. In this model, the personal computer have their own personal accessing capabilities. And the applications are divided into the task and each task is assigned to the computer for processing. These are the distributed computing models. Using this model you can distribute your application with many sites to list of person. The application divide into list of tasks and its task work on list of computer and in computer has a list of processing. It's model like the hierarchical model. Okay, next last and third is the collaborative computing models that means two or more computer can share the same task collaborative computing is the form of distributed computing
and it's allowed the task to be by the 